The idea for Desperate Housewives came from a conversation I had with my mother at her home. We were watching coverage of the Andrea Yates trial, for those of you who don't remember the woman in Texas who drowned all her children. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there on my mom's sofa, and she's smoking a cigarette, and I'm sitting there, and I, got, I turned to her and I said, gosh, can you imagine a woman being so desperate that she would hurt her own children? And my mom took her cigarette out of her mouth and went, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, what? <laughs> and, um, and for the very first time in my life, my mother started sharing stories with me about how lone and desperate she had been when my father was off getting um, his degree, his master's at the University of Oklahoma, and we were alone on my grandparents' farm out, you know, 30 miles out of town, and it was just her and us three kids. And I was stunned. I had always seen my mother as the perfect wife and mother, a woman who aspired to nothing more than to be a wife and mother. So to find out that that life had caused her pain was a, a complete epiphany. And I said, well, good heavens, if you've had moments of desperation in those years, every woman's had them, because you wanted mm. that life. And so I thought, well, good heavens, no one's ever really written about that aspect of female existence. You know, you get the life you want, and it still makes you crazy. And so I thought, well, I, I have to write about this. And so that was the base. I built my, I always say, you know, with Desperate, I really built that house well because it was built on a foundation of I had something to say about the experience of women. And then when I formed my characters, I made sure that they were all desperate for different reasons. And the reason they were desperate was what told us who they were. So consequently, Lynette was desperate because she had all these kids and she used to be a high powered executive. And she gave up that life for this, and now she doesn't feel she's very good at it. And her husband's always away. You know, uh, Gabrielle was desperate because she used to be a glamorous model with an exciting life. Now she's in the suburbs. Her husband's plunked her down there. He ignores her, and she's bored, so she's having an affair. Bree's desperate because she's the perfect wife and mother, except her kids and her husband hate her, and her husband wants a divorce, and she doesn't understand why. And then Susan's desperate because, well, her husband left her, and she's got a kid and she wants back in on the fairy tale. Mm -hmm. And by creating each of them, and I didn't kind of know this at the time, I figured this out, they were desperate, which meant they wanted something. And one of the things you have to do in, I think, any pilot is make sure your character really wants something. And then it's easier to write. And that, I kind of fell into that part of it. That's fabulous. But, but, so consequently, it was about something and the characters had truths and I was able to then use experiences from my own life to do that. And it's just amazing to me, a lot of people sit down and they start writing, but they don't have anything to say. So I think for all of you, whatever your, your experience is in, those of your parents, you know, your friends, family, whatever, it's, it's part of your job as a writer, director, whatever, sit back and pay attention to that parade of life that goes by. Because all, those, all that stuff you see, even when something horrible happens to you, I, half the time I'm like, this is horrible, but I know I'm going to use it later. Um, <laughs> Because that is that um, our, 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 the emotional toll life takes on us, the, all these nicks and bumps and bruises and the little joys we experience, it's all currency with which we will then do our work. That is a brilliant note to end on and to go to the Q&A.